this little munchkin has just woken up and she's going back to sleep well good morning from the algarve and it's quite a nice warm one today it's 20 degrees and after today it's going to start really heating up um 23 degrees onwards and it occurred to me that um abe's done three quarters of the land with the strimming and i haven't yet picked any flowers <laughs> and he's been cutting them down so i'm going to last night we had a little evening walk around the grounds and uh, i did see some beautiful flowers and i thought before he cuts them down i'm going to go and pick them and uh, he's busy strimming down there anyway he's he's also pruning the olive trees and we are hoping that these olive trees look a bit younger and i don't think there's as much wrong with them as the older olive trees so um, i'm gonna head down there and i'll take you with me before abe chops them down That one looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, well, the, 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 all the exact branches on there, look. Wow. So. A lot of it's from around the side of the tree. Yeah. So we've got this section now um, to do, which is sort of like the last quarter and a little bit up there as well. This was what I, I came down here to pick before he strims them. Don't burn it because um, I'm go going to get um, a cooking thing down here. Yeah, I'm just going to out this cup. It's a little bit high in that branch there. Yeah. I'll use the second hand for that. Oh, you've got a train saw that. Is that your new one? Yeah, it's much better than a treat one. How much was that? Well, yeah, it was 180, so it's a mid range train tow. 180. Right, okay. So, I don't want any hiding that. Well, we have got the knives. Okay, I think a bird will fly through that. Get a lot of new branches coming off it now. Yeah. I think that looks quite nice. Yeah. So that one's done. It's quite a nice shape there, Ivy. Yeah. That that's dead there. That wow. bit there. Yeah. You've done a really nice job there. Yeah, I took that middle stem out, look. Yeah. That was not needed. Right, back to picking flowers for me. That's my wildflower arrangement. 
and I've actually got it on the floor because I have nowhere to put it at the moment but I think it's so pretty. I'm in the polytunnel and um, I'm, we're going to do a little experiment. Um, all this pricking out of avocado stones and putting it into water, to me it's not really what nature does. So what we're going to do, we're going to plant some stones straight into um, a plant pot and I'm going to water it. We're going to keep an eye on them um, and just see what they do over like two, three months and uh, let's just see if they do pop up so um i'll just show you what i've done up here is my um just have to bear with me i'm one-handed at the moment um my pot and i've been collecting the avocado stones here so what i'm doing i'm just going to get the stone and pop it directly into the soil that's what I'm going to do and let's see what happens, see if anything pops up. So the two big plant pots that I got, so we'll keep watering them and I'm putting a few of the stones in the large pots and uh, I've actually run out of soil now so there's about seven in there that I probably um done i've got another five in there and i think i've put about seven in there as well and i've just noticed ants coming in <sighs> right um right well i'll show you what i've been up to anyway so um i've covered it in soil the avocados. I've covered the avocados in soil. Let me show you. So they are in there now, both sets, and um, we'll keep an eye on them. Now Abe's been ever so busy in um, the polytunnel, and as a surprise the other day, um, he's built me this. I'll just show you. I'll twizzle round. Put on some legs two pallets and I've got my green beans growing um, I'm going to replant these radishes in a second and um, he's going to actually do the same with this pallet as well but he's also made me this fantastic um, area here just for the seeds so I can put the seeds on there and also on the top and he's also put this raised bed in here which I've put the melons in there just to start them to get them a little bit bigger before we put them outside so I'm super pleased with, with that so I'm gonna have to just get down and get dirty in this soil with um, the radishes and uh, I'm going to plant the, plant them in this um, in this bedding box now. So that's what I'm going to get up to. Oh. So I've got this from Leroy Merlin's, and it was only um, six euros, five ninety nine, I think it is and it's excellent it's got all the measurements so if you're planting things like bulbs you know how deep to actually pop them into the ground so i'm just going to put these radishes in here Well, I can't say everything in the greenhouse has worked because um, our lettuce has been eaten. 
and we're really not sure we think it could be invading slugs um i'll just show you the amount of direct sunlight because they were starting to wilt they certainly are being nibbled Got some okra coming off and i think they're fava beans Yes, they are. They're the fava beans. Sweet corn's coming up. Now, Wabe's going to make me another raised bed area along here. So I'm going to put um, the sweet corn in there until it's big enough to go outside. But that's sort of our nursery area before it goes outside. I'm not going to replant the radishes. They can just grow here. But all the tomatoes, when they're big enough, they can go outside because tomatoes do really well here. Yeah. So I'm absolutely loving it at the moment. I actually don't think we could have got anything else in the car. Yeah, but I'd like the smell of wood. Yeah, I'd like the smell of wood. Oh, wow. Have you left me um, a bag? Excellent. I was going to, <laughs> I was going to film you doing it, Ives. Well, I'm, I'm going to do another oh. one in a minute. How I'm are gonna, you? I'm going to go down to the one million to get some more. Uh, can you put my sunglasses on my head? It's looking incredibly healthy in here. Um, Ives made me another raised bed, which is fabulous. I did want to film him doing it, but I was on the phone and um, by the time I'd come off, he'd actually done it. So I'll show you what he's done. Another big pot of avocado stones. And I've put in here the, um, I've got some Brussels sprouts, garlic, and sweet corn and some turnips. And the turnips, sweet corn, and Brussels sprouts will be going outside. Um, we'll see how the garlic fares. Looking really good, apart from the lettuce which I've put right at the top now of uh, this platform and uh, I'm going to put some salt underneath. Mm -hmm. 